device in your life. There is a yeah, convention well, you know. in town that is just for you. It's not a new one. Macworld has been around, of course, for decades. Now, Apple stopped being a part of it years ago, but the conference lives on as an event for Apple fans. Yeah, and as ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom found out, it is changing with the times. You knew one day it was bound to happen. It's a social network for toddlers and their family. An app that gets kids online before they're even old enough to read. No text, actually. It's only bubbles on the tree. Tell your kids a story, record video of their reaction, and share it. The app's part of the innovation showcase at this year's Macworld convention. This is the 30th year that Macworld iWorld has been in San Francisco. We're really part of the story of the tech culture in San Francisco. This year, there are newcomers like the Glyph 3D video headset. A brand new visual experience unlike anything you've ever seen before. And old favorites like Crazy Talk. We were best of show, so we had to really come with the guns loaded this year for 2014. Now, the app that makes puppets out of your photos has an iPad version, so you can take your favorite TV reporter anywhere. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's crazy talk. As we do more and more stuff on our iDevices, they've become a bigger and bigger part of the show. That's why the show took on a second name a few years ago, and the name is stuck. Saying Macworld iWorld may be a mouthful, but every year the show becomes less about Macs and more about iDevices. Mobile is an evolving story. I think one of the things we're seeing a lot more of is how mobile devices are controlling external devices. Like PetCube, a box you leave at home with your pets while you're out. It has a webcam and a laser pointer they love to chase. We control the laser pointer through the app, and so it's a live video game with your real cat, dog, or ferrets, or even fish. Or control your favorite toy robot with Bluetooth jewelry. You can also text with it. You can send a message to your friend, or, or you can control home appliances like a TV. Writing in thin air is cool if not practical. What we found is people still love pen and paper. So Livescribe reinvented its seven-year-old smart pen as an input device for the iPad. You write on paper, it shows up on the screen, almost as magic as seeing through walls. If you're a contractor, uh, you can find the studs behind the sheetrock. Yes, an infrared camera for the iPhone. No doubt someone will use it for a selfie and maybe even turn that into a puppet. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom, ABC7 News. What a job. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff there. Well, just ahead, concerns over the safety.